Hello, hello. So I've recently finished this tiny little sketchbook. It's a Taylor Rowney pocket sketchbook and I actually like it a lot. It's tiny, it's got a little elastic thingy, the paper is rather okay. I even took to watercolors somewhat decently but you can see like it buckled up a lot and the sketchbook is a little chubby right now. So yeah but let's have a look into my tiny little sketchbook. So this one I thought it was a funny idea to draw an alien getting abducted by humans on a helicopter. When I drew it out it turned out to be not as funny as I thought it would be <laughs> but it's there. This is a little still life study of stuff on my table. I was just like watching YouTube on my phone and just doodling whatever was on my desk. The next one, a little ink wash plants. I really liked my outfit that day. I was wearing like really long sweatshirt and black tights. And I thought I looked rather cute. I was just some inc I was burning some incense and I was just doodling some witchy stuff. This was a little thumbnail for um, a video I made where I painted this Empress tarot card. I will link it somewhere in the cards. A little made up landscape paint landscape painting that I did in ink wash. I started falling in love with ink wash again because I kind of stopped doing it after last year in October because I was a little burned out on ink but I've picked it up again so it was just covered the whole page in ink and drew with some silver gel pen I think it was ink wash and a gel pen I think this was a little study of my most favorite mug. This is the best mug in the world. It's, it looks like a little llama or alpaca and it's adorable. It was me trying out the watercolors that I started using recently. Last Christmas I received a set of um, Daniel Smith Essentials watercolors which come with uh, only six shades and um, I didn't use them for a while but I started using them recently and I put them all in the pants and I love them now. I only come with six um, shades and you're supposed to mix all your own shades and um, I add a little brown from my other set of watercolors just because the, water, the browns that I mix with these are usually turn out rather cool and this one is a uh, warm brown. It makes life a little easier. Yeah, and then I started falling into a hole with a phthalo blue green shade that comes in the set and it's like the most gorgeous color in the world. It's like this kind of like blue going a little bit into teal and it's so beautiful and I was just like oh my god I just want to paint everything with it. This was my brainstorming on the logo I was working on. And this was me trying to figure out lettering again because I was considering doing lettering for that logo but I didn't do it. But um, that was me kind of trying to figure it out. <laughs> I suck at lettering. A little doodle, a little ink wash doodle. I was trying to figure out like how to paint like those transparent kind of like plastic looking skirts. Didn't work. Some inky little girl some post studies. That was me just playing with the ink wash and drawing like the Instagram baddie lady. I love ink wash man. This was another. It just looks like a piece of like background or like a weird like a halo but it was supposed to be a black sound head and um, it just doesn't look like it because I don't know it just doesn't look like it's part of the outfit. Probably because it's so round and not like an angle. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, Thalo blue, green shade. Some witchy stuff. It was I was watching a video about like something 
vintage styled and I was drawing like a 50s kind of vintage lady I think I started drawing like a little comic but never finished it another Instagram baddie uh, let's not talk about that let's not talk about that Ooh, this one so you see best color ever and uh, I started with the little sketch I made a while ago but never finished and then I just decided to color it in and oh my god I fell in love with this character she doesn't have a name so if you have a good name leave it in the comments but it's like this water lady with long flowing water hair and the sky is always red and, oh, I love her I think she's so beautiful just the idea of like flowing water hair which is not new I did not invent it I understand that there's been plenty of people and even like Adventure Time made it plenty of times but I just like think it's so pretty I was like, trying to figure out some posts that was me I was watching Doodle Date video and um, they had like a grey and uh, yellow outfits and I thought it was so cool so I kind of doodled them in some lady, some cat lady, I don't know. That was me trying to figure out um, some glitter pens I bought and I misspelled shimmer and I was really mad about it. <laughs> that was me trying different style. If you can see, there is some like glitter pen action right there. There's more glitter pan action. Oh, these are sketches that I enjoy doing a lot. They, they are kind of like one line kind of pencil sketches or like with the straight up pen. I like doing this a lot because um, that's my warm up a lot of times. I'll just sketch in like either a face or a body with the um, one line without any planning or anything like whatever my hand takes me there we go that was me like making kind of like tree of hands with one line and then I just colored that in but I don't know if it was a good idea same that was me practicing to mix like kind of skin tone colors with the, the little set I got She looks kind of bug -eyed. Like I like the sketch in general, but because I didn't put little, little eye shine, she kind of looks bug -eyed and dead. Some post study. Some, I don't know. You can see some silver pen shines. <laughs> so, <laughs> this one, oh my god. I was sitting around one day and I decided it was a good idea to cut myself micro bangs. Like, you know the bangs that go like around the middle of your forehead, forehead or so? And I decided to do it myself and I didn't account for... So I wet my bangs and I cut them, off, cut them across and I didn't account for them like springing back when they dry and they just started like sticking straight out because my hair is really coarse and I didn't have the weight to kind of lay down and I was freaking out. I kind of fixed it now but I was freaking out so much. I was just like sitting there just like laughing and like crying almost and like having overall a little bit of breakdown. Now I think it's funny, but at the moment I was like, oh my god, I fucked up. I fucked up so hard. And it was me thumbnailing for another another tarot card that I'm gonna do. Probably today, actually. The devil. That was me drawing my water lady again. So with... Uh, I don't know why, but with each next, because I drew a couple more illustrations of her with every next piece that I did with her I like I like it less and less because kind of I don't know it just like loses its charm for some reason like I don't know why I still like the character it's just the execution of how I paint her is kind of getting weird 
And I'm just like, mmm. This one's okay though. So lady. Yeah, this one was it was me kinda practicing mixing all the different colors with um just those thick shades. And uh you can do like really nice range of colors. I even not all of them are here, but I even managed to mix kind of like black and it was like really nice. Then um since then I figured out how to mix better better browns. They're not as gray. So yeah. This was me just playing with the paints. Painting some kind of superhero lady. Yeah, these are the shades that it comes with. So it's like the cooler primaries and the warmer primaries and you can mix pretty much anything with them. Which is kind of nice because it kind of ties everything together I guess because all the colors are incorporated in overall piece. Even though it kind of makes it a little muddy if you have to mix, especially like if it's something with uh, three or like four colors kind of makes it a little muddy but you know they're way too counteract it and I'm trying I'm trying I'm learning but um yeah the best color ever I don't know why like it's just like I think it's such a pretty color with some water hands because I like this color a lot I want to use it a lot so I paint a lot of water with it and skies as you can see I guess I guess just like my favorite color combo this like phthalo blue and kind of like this pinkish rose color. I was just a little doodle because it was thunder outside and I really want to take a bubble bath. But because it was thunder I didn't want to be in the water in case the lightning strikes our water pipes and electrocutes me. With another water lady and another water lady. And I wanted to make this character with kind of um, who would be represented by kind of those like vines or ivy kind of like going into the water but he looks just like a regular dude so I'll have to work on his design but on the other hand she's um I feel like she doesn't need no man <laughs> I don't know I don't really like this not, not canon don't don't look at it <laughs> I was been playing with the ink washes again and with um, some markers ink wash it was me painting my little watercolor set it's right here some lady oh there was me trying to figure out colored pencils I really don't like colored pencils I don't know why I find them really hard to use but Maybe that's because I have really cheap pencils and also because when I try to use pencils you have to apply like some pressure on them to for, for, like to blend or anything and it really cramps up my hands and it fucks with my carpal tunnel so anytime I try to do like this kind of shading or blending with any kind of pencils it kind of leaves me in pain for a little while so I don't really do colored pencils a lot because I don't understand them with me oh that was me kind of <laughs> being sad a little bit so I decided to paint a little inspirational picture of my sketchbook to calm down let me just play with the little brush marker I have. I'm trying out like more Disney cartoony kind of type of face. That was me going with uh, my one liners again. <laughs> really badly <laughs> executed birds. <laughs> Lopsided one line dogs. I was just looking at my dogs and just like letting my hand go. That was me trying to draw myself, kind of. I always, I don't know why, I always end up drawing this, like, between here and here. I end up going really long on anything I draw without, like, planning out. 
So um, my faces are always really long and the nose is really big. And that's it. And some sketches. And I thought I would be putting things into this little pocket, but there's nothing in there. Well, yeah. Let me know which one was your favorite. I personally enjoy anything that has to do with um, Taylor blue green shade. <laughs> but um, let me know what you think and thank you and subscribe and I'm gonna see you next time and have a good day. Bye.